Hi guys. As you guys can see, the live stream studio looks different because I am back in the studio. And um, so today's the first day back, so I'm gonna see if everything is working fine and let's see. Haven't seen you guys for a week, so how have you guys been? And yes, I'm wearing a mask because um, today we're talking about the mask. So I just want to put it on first, but... Yeah, so let me know if you can hear me well, if you can see me well, because this is the first time we're live streaming at this location, this beautiful location. So if you can hear and see me well, please say hi or yes. And if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you can join us on the live chat. You know, just, um, there's a live chat function just below the video. Um, but you can also come on to our website, Um That's where we have also the live stream happening and the live chat is there as well. Plus, you'll be able to see today's flash bill code and the list of products that you can get. But nobody's replying yet, so let's see if... Like doing this for the first time always gets me so nervous in a new place because you don't know what's happening, whether it's the, it's the internet connection fine for live streaming. Hi, Ash. I mean, I have everything set up exactly as I would at home, so it should be working fine. Uh, and then the nice thing about doing this here is I can stand up and I can walk around and do things. So I, I was really looking forward to be back. And I'm going to just grab two more cards. And I have access to all the products at any time. So yay, it's good to be back. But yes, today we're talking about, well, the new normal, right? So those... <laughs> This thing here that you have to wear, and while well, this thing has been trending now, um, if you have been following social media, you know, you know what mask knee, M A S K N E. The first time when I saw the word, I thought like, is this like a typo or is this a mistake? Because I don't recognize that word at all. But um, right now, it is a thing. So what what happens is, you know, if you mask knee is a combination of the word mask and acne. And let's see. Yeah, so again, because um, if you can hear me well, if you can see me well, please say yes. So I know everything is in order and then we can start today's session. My, how does my skin look in this light? I quite like this um, setting because it makes me, I mean, I, I'm definitely further, so I look, my face looks smaller. But I hope it's not lagging. should be fine. Oh, thank you, Ash. Yeah, so mask knee, mask knee, mask and acne. So what happens is some people um, have discovered that, you know, like since, since, you know, like since the coronavirus and since they've been putting on masks, uh, it has irritated their skin and in turn developing acne around this region. Um, it generally shouldn't be an issue if you, are, if you don't need to wear a mask the whole day, right? So if you stay at home um, and if you're not a frontliner, but, what, but really the problem is, and I feel like the problem is not so much this kind of surgical mask because um, it, it is very breathable and it's very soft, so it doesn't really affect your skin that much. But, it, but the issue comes if you're a frontliner or if you are uh, wearing like a N95 or K95 mask. And I'm not even going to attempt to wear, put this on because it does put a lot of pressure on your face along where it presses because it, it is a really snug fit. Um, and with this kind of mask, um, then there's a lot of problem because also the humidity builds up in here. Um, and 
and because of like the really close contact between the mask and your skin so whatever that gets onto the mask and whatever that starts growing here like you know bacteria um, and whatnot and even like oils from your face and mouth um, they can then start to irritate your face um, clog your pores and then or even uh, make your acne worse so I'm going to start off with of course like the non-product uh, way of preventing mask nephrus and then later we're going to talk about some things that you can do at home uh, with your skincare products and even with some routine so i think the first thing the first advice and tip is if you don't need to wear this right so if you're not like a frontliner if you don't work in healthcare um, and then you should just be wearing like a surgical mask and this is good enough because you know the whole idea is to just prevent the exchange of droplets high gleeful creation Uh, this is to ex prevent the exchange of fluids um, and water droplets in the air. So this is good enough um, and this is what you should be wearing uh, because this should not irritate your skin as much as it should. But if you are front lining, then obviously you have to wear like a KN95 or N95 mask. Um, then we'll talk about this later. So if you're wearing this kind of surgical mask, remember that this is disposable. This is a one-off thing. You have to dispose this every single day and change it because if you do not, if you do not change it, if you recycle wearing this, then what's going to happen is as you're wearing any sort of face mask, be it like a surgical mask or N95 or even like a cloth mask, what is happening is you know, you're transferring whatever's on your face and body into the mask back here. Um, and that means you know, your, your every breath that you take, you know, the, the air that expels out, um, along with the air that expels out, comes out with droplets of your saliva uh, and humidity uh, that also does contain bacteria or, put, or, or even things that can help bacteria grow. Um, and then when you take off your mask to eat your food, uh, and if you do not wipe your face properly, then you know, like whatever food or oil is going to go onto the mask, and then that combined with humidity and the temperature in here, it is a great breeding ground for bacteria. So if you do not make sure to change your mask regularly, or you know, to if you're wearing if you're wearing like a cloth mask, you have to wash it daily. If you do not do that, then this is going to be a breeding ground for all this bacteria. So the next day when you put this back on, um, you're just going to transfer all the bacteria onto your skin and if you have sensitive skin or if you are prone to acne or if you have really active pores then what's going to happen is it's going to result in acne um, so so i do recommend that you know the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you always keep your mask clean what is the neon lights behind me first light first light this product, I just, oh, this is new, so I'm going to find a color to open it. See, I like being back here. I get access to everything so easily. So I'm going to cut this open. And... I am going to put this side by side with the neon light. So, I'm coming here. This is the first light serum. That's what the neon light is. There you go. Yeah, so back to the mask. Um, Remember to wash your disposable mask daily. Um, oh, sorry, you have to wash your cloth mask daily and change your disposable mask daily. Uh, if you have to wear this all day, then I would suggest maybe change it every half day. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is you know, after every meal um, to clean your mouth properly. Um, I think this is where like a, a wet wipe will come in really handy, um, an antibacterial wet wipe, um, wiping your mouth, getting clearing all the oils and food residue on your face. On your face. Uh, it's important to prevent the transfer of every, anything that's going to be on, go, go on the mask. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is, if you're gonna wear a mask all day, then don't wear makeup because, uh, <laughs> No, like a lip, especially lipstick, um, because nobody can see it anyway. 
So, so yeah, just don't wear makeup because you know, like if you wear makeup and especially lipstick, which is, uh, which can clog your pores, right? If it gets into your face, um, what's going to happen is you know you'll be transferring your lipstick, uh, the oils from the lipstick onto the mask when you wear it, and then it's going to rub and transfer all over your face, and then you might find that you start to get clogged pores around your mouth and uh, you start d developing acne around here. So. So yeah, if you're wearing makeup for a long time, for the whole day, you know, like just avoid wearing makeup. If you're wearing mask the whole day, then avoid wearing makeup. Uh, the same thing with your foundation. So if you, wear, yeah, if you put on foundation in your skin, um, and then if you wear a mask on it, what is gonna happen is, you know, like, it's just gonna make it really humid. Um, and when, you're, when your face is really humid uh, and with the increased temperature, it's going to react with you know, your, skin, your, your cosmetic products, your makeup. Um, it's going to make it oxidize even faster uh, and then thereby increasing the chance of it, you know, like clogging your pores um, or causing acne. So, so second point is really to just avoid wearing makeup if you have to wear a mask for extended period of time. Uh, the third thing is to, whenever it is safe, if you have to wear a mask all day, you know, especially if you're wearing like a N95 or K95 mask, uh, whenever it is safe in a safe environment, um, take off your mask for a little short while to let your face breathe and to let your skin relax, right? Because you know, like the pressure that it puts onto your skin um, causes a lot of tension. Um, and, and that tension in some people can create pressure sores um, and so that's where you get you know, like uh, acne like sores on your on your face along the region where the end of the mask you know like touches the face so you just want to find opportunities in the but you have to make sure that you're in a safe environment away from people um, just to remove it to let your face breathe um, and to let your skin relax a little bit so so that is going to help greatly so, so that's what you can do like, you know, without using any like products or anything. So that's um, some ways to prevent you know, the mask from interfering with your skin. Uh, then you want to talk about your skincare. Skincare is really important, especially if you're wearing a mask, because if you do not use the right skincare products or if your skincare products is not working well to relieve some of the pressure that the mask does on your skin, um, then it might make the problem worse. So what I like to do is to start with like the routine first, like cleansing, moisturizing or serums, and then um, treatment. Um, and when you're wearing a mask at the end of the day, if you're cleansing your face, then you need to use a cleanser that can get rid of uh, whatever sebum, whatever's on your face thoroughly. Because uh, it's almost like wearing makeup now, because if you do not cleanse your skin properly, uh, at the end of the day and then the next day you put on a mask uh, and your, your face is dirty then what's going to happen is again all these things can collect and again with the increased humidity and temperature is going to uh, increase the chances of you developing mask knee. So what you want to do is to cleanse and, and this is where I'm going to talk about the cell soldier again. So cell soldier cleansing balm is what you need to be using as your cleanser in the day and in the night if you are using a face mask because uh, when you're using this at night, um, being a balm cleanser is going to get rid of all the grime, all the dirt, all the traces of makeup on your skin. Um, and you want, you want that to happen because you want to have really, really clean skin, really, really clean pores. If you're going to use like a water-based foaming cleanser at this stage, uh, it might not work as well because as you know, uh, foaming cleansers cannot get rid of everything on your skin. Uh, but if they do, then mo most likely or not, they're going to they're gonna dry out your skin and they're going to be quite uh, harsh on the skin. Um, and that's why using a cleansing balm is really important. Uh, with the cleansing balm, what you want to do is to use this uh, instead of once a day at night, um, use this twice a day. So use this as your day and nighttime cleanser. Why daytime cleanser is because if you use a foaming cleanser in the day um, and if you're wearing a mask the whole day, then uh, Foaming cleansers do strip off more oils from your skin, um, but they do not return the beneficial oils that your skin needs, so your skin becomes dry. Now, if you put on a mask on a skin that is dehydrated, um, then what's going to happen is you know, that big shift from being dehydrated uh, inside to being humid on the outside, 
uh, it's going to irritate and stress your skin and it's going to result in possibly you know you developing combination skin so we don't want that um, and also you don't want to have dry skin when you're wearing a mask because when your skin is dry it will start to flake um, and most of the time if you have normal dry skin you don't actually see the flaking the flaking happens on a microscopic level um, but it is this flaking that can collect in the pores and eventually clog it and then oxidize and, and result in acne so you want to make sure that your skin is always moisturized while you're wearing a mask uh, and that's why using a cleansing balm in the day is going to be really gentle it's not going to stress your skin but it's going to return all that nourishing oils back to your skin so your skin remains in a really healthy condition. So after you have cleansed your skin then you want to go for a moisturizer or you, know, you can do your, you can use the serums as now um, as well but what you want to do is to make sure that your products do contain ingredients that can at least support your skin while you're wearing a mask. So what are the issues that we have talked about earlier? We talked about you know like the, the pores being really reactive to to uh, you know, like the humidity, to the temperature, and, and then also an increase in bacteria, um, and also an increase in potential contamination from oils from your food, from your mouth. Um, and then we also, we also talked about you know, like the pressure that the mask puts on your face, you know, the pressure sores that can happen. So thinking, um, putting all this into consideration, Putting all this into consideration before that if anyone is watching on Facebook or YouTube could you please send me a message on Facebook or YouTube like a live chat message because um, I haven't downloaded like the app to look at all your messages I'm using the browser version but um, I'm not sure if it's gonna pop up properly so if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook just like type hi or something just so that I know that it is working Okay, so back to this. So then you want to make sure that your moisturizer or serums do contain those ingredients that um, would be beneficial to protect your skin. And just let me check my message. Ha, <laughs> I got a message. The live stream is working well. Yeah. So you want to have ingredients that do not make your skin too oily. Um, but you also want to have ingredients that do not make your skin dry out, right? Because you're now facing a really awkward situation because you know, when you put on a mask, uh, what's inside the mask here is really humid. So you know, there's a lot of moisture happening on the surface. Um, but then if your environment is really dry, then this part here becomes really dry the part that's exposed becomes dry then you're stuck in this dilemma because you, know, you have dry skin here but you have like skin that's like soaking wet here um, and if you do not sort of like uh, balance everything then over time if you're going to be wearing this and we might be wearing this for the next one year uh, it's going to cause a big difference to your skin right because your skin is going to be then really dry and flaky here but then over here it's going to be really soft and mushy not in a good way uh, what you want to do is you want to have a moisturizer and serums that can first repair and support your skin's natural barrier so our skin is really resilient our skin has the ability oh thank you shell okay so it's working um, your skin has the resilience to bounce back and also fight off you know, whatever environmental stressors that it can come in contact with, but obviously not for too long. So you want to have, uh, especially at this time, you want to use a serum and a moisturizer that can really re reinforce that skin barrier. So you know, ingredients, um, things like ceramides, things like uh, even hyaluronic acid to a certain point um, is going to help with that. Um, and then um, there are some really nourishing oils, you know, oils that are like squalene and squalene, uh, hydrocarbons like squalene and squalene, um, and some plant oils. All this would reinforce the skin's natural barrier um, and to increase you know, like, and prevent the transepidermal water loss, TWL. So when you do that, then it's going to reinforce. So what we have here is we have, obviously, you know, like the balanced oil probiotic cream. 
and the First Light Serum. I feel like these two products would be really helpful um, during this period. I'm going to talk about the Balanced Warrior Probiotic Cream first. Why it's helpful? Because, as I said, when you're wearing a mask in this area here, you're going to have a lot, a lot of uh, increased in bacteria count in this area. Um, and, and then, what this product does is it's going to help to balance your skin uh, using the, the probiotic ingredients in here, the pre and probiotic ingredients. It's going to, it's going to firstly stimulate um, the support of your healthy skin microbiome because your best skin defense um, is your skin's microbiome, so the natural colonies of good bacteria on your skin. So with the Balanced Warrior, it's going to do that. Uh, it's going to support your skin regardless of the condition. Um, and then it is a cream that is really moisturizing. It is really nourishing, but it's not oily. So it actually it actually auto corrects your skin um, depending on your skin type. So this is for all skin types, and and even if you have really sensitive skin, um, this does not sensitize the skin. So it's really great for that. Um, and if you have oily skin, you find that. Uh, and in fact, we do have clinical studies of one of the ingredients in here. Um, this skin actually, this product actually keeps your skin matte, so it mattifies your skin for up to eight hours. Um, so this is great if you have oily or combination skin. But then, if you have dry skin, this is also great, uh, a great moisturizer, especially now where you're masking, because then it's going to correct, you know, the differences between here where it's moisturized and here where it's dry. Um, and then you have the nourishing ingredients in here like the probiotic extracts and then you have the prebiotic fiber. All this is going to protect, soothe and calm down your skin. So this is also a very soothing moisturizer. It's going to calm down redness. Um, so yeah, I would really recommend that you go for this um, only because during this time, you know, if whether you... I feel like during this time if you're masking, you know, you can forget about like dry skin, oily skin, combination skin because you're definitely going to be have dry and, and, and oily skin in two parts of your face. Um, but what I really do strongly recommend is the First Light Serum. And this would be especially helpful if you are wearing the KN95 or the N95 mask because um, this is inspired by the vernix, which is the compound that protects a baby's skin in the womb. Um, and the whole idea of this is to create a film. Hi, gentle user. So the whole idea of this is to create a film to nourish your skin, but not just that, to also protect your skin from the environment. So, so this one glides on like an oil, um, and it feels nourishing and moisturizing like an oil, but it's not an oil, it is a, it is a mi mixture of plant-based hydrocarbons and other ingredients that would then mimic, like the, mimic the vernix like in the womb. So what it does is it's actually treating your skin like it's baby skin, you know, baby skin is very delicate and you want to protect it. So what the serum does is it's doing the same thing. It's, it's almost like wearing stocking on your skin. Like it protects, it seals it up, you know, it fills up whatever sort of like excessively enlarged pores that you have. It seals it up and then it prevents the loss of uh, moisture through your skin. It reduces TWL, trans epidermal water loss. Um, and it just keeps your skin really nice and comforted. So then, when you put on a mask, you have this additional like barrier on your skin that protects your skin from the mask. Um, and also, um, you know, those people who have used this moist this serum, which can also act as a moisturizer, will know that the hydration property of this product is like out of this world. Right? You can put this as uh, four drops in the day um, and you'll be in the middle of winter where everything is like so cold and dry but your skin will still stay supple and moist the whole entire day. So just imagine you have that really nice and supple skin in your face like this, um, soft like a baby, but then when you put on the mask, because it is soft, because it is not dry, 
then it is not going to form any cracks, right? Because if your skin is very dry and you put on a mask for a period of time, then your skin may, might, might have micro tear or cracks and that's going to be quite painful. Um, but at the same time, and then at the same time, so it's moisturized, it's not going to crack. It's, it's very supple. Supple means that your skin is very flexible. So having a good serum or a moisturizer is going to keep your skin very flexible. And you want that when you're wearing something that puts a lot of pressure on it. Um, at the same time, then because you have the, the barrier that not only prevents water loss, but it also reduces the exchange of whatever's from the environment into the skin. And in this case, you know, if you are wearing this serum in your face and you put on a mask, then this part here, it will protect you from the environment. And then this part here, it will, it will protect you from what's on your mask here. So, so you want to do that. And then obviously it does contain ingredients like the phytoceramides in here um, that is going to help to repair your skin, uh, which is very important. Um, and the ceramides we have in here is also clinically tested to also help to reduce your pore size over time. So one of the, ish, one of the things to be careful of if you have really active pores is you want to downregulate those pores because during the time where you're wearing a mask, if you have active pores, um, then for sure your active pores, those active pores in this area will become acne just because it's just so much opportunity to, for it to become acne. How many times do you use the serum night only? No, you want to use this twice a day, right? So you want to use this in the morning, in the day, uh, before you head out. So after you have cleansed your face, you can use four drops of this on your face followed by the Balance Warrior Cream. So this would be like your daytime moisturizing routine. And then nighttime, um, same thing, you can use both or you can use more of the First Light Serum as your night serum. Um, what you could also do for nighttime is to also use like the First Light Serum with the Cuddly Dream Sleeping Mask, which I'll get into later because you know, this would be the treatment part you know, to help to combat stress skin while you're wearing a mask. So yeah, so choosing your moisturizer and serum is really, really important during this stage. But what I would avoid you doing now is to use um, any products that's really harsh on your skin. So things like products that's really high in acid, um, peels, um, this kind of stuff, you want to avoid during this period because you know, when you Although doing like an acid peel, like a BHA, AHA product, you know, it's, it helps with exfoliation of the skin, but it also uh, in a way damages the skin barrier and makes the skin really sensitive and fragile. Um, and you want to just avoid any frig fragile skin during this period while you're masking up because that's going to have an impact on your skin. Um, unless you're not heading out for a week, then you can do your like peels and, and microdermabrasion. So, we have done, so this is the moisturizing part. I like that everything is like within reach now. Um, and then we talk about the treatment. So today I won't, I won't talk about like specialized treatment like anti-aging, you know, like um, treatments to target pigmentation because those things would be like your long-term skincare, uh, well, long-term skincare care. Uh, but now we're going to be talking about specific, specifically, you know, while you're masking, what, which products you, should you be using. So then I like to, I do that as well now. I use the Marine Matcha Detox Mask. Um, now, instead of, instead of like an exfoliating mask, because, you know, um, you still want to do your mask because um, you want to keep your skin, your pores clean. Uh, this is a clay mask. Yeah, you, you, um, Tina, right? Tina says, I use BHA, is it okay? It is okay if you're not masking like extended periods of time a day, right? If you, and if you're wearing like a surgical mask, there's not a lot of pressure. So that's fine. But if you're going to be wearing like this mask or this mask for at least, uh, I would say maybe four hours nonstop a day, then maybe just avoid like the, the acids, AHA, BHA for just for this period because um, it is going to just make your skin a bit more sensitive um, and it's going to reduce the 
the skin barrier. So you want to just avoid that um, just for this period. But, but if you know like over the weekend, if you're not going to be going out or if you're not going to be masking out for a long time, um, then yeah, you can do that. But if you're, whenever you're using any AHA or BHA products, you want to give your skin about a week for it to recover from, you know, from, from the stress, right, from the, from the acid. Um, so, so if you cannot use the BHA or AHA now, what can you do? Then the next best thing I would recommend would be to use uh, a really calming and soothing mask, um, a clay mask, but preferably something like the Marine Matcha Detox Mask. Why? Because this would kind of do like the, the have the same similar effect to your BHA in the sense where um, it's going to help to deep cleanse your skin. Um, but how we have formulated marine matcha is we have done this um, very specifically for skin that is very sensitive um, and for people who are not able to use like really strong uh, masks that either contain acid or that can that exfoliate your skin too much. So this is a cream a cream clay mask and. As you can see, like it, there's no particles in there, so it just applies onto your skin very smooth, like a moisturizer. Um, and then you leave it on, like you want to apply a thick layer on your skin, and then you leave it on for about 15 minutes. It's not going to dry up completely, so you don't get like the dry, stretchy, crackling feeling on your face, like like like, like pop crackling uh, on your face. Uh, and you don't want that, especially during this period, because you know, you know those masks that dry up and then like tear your skin, and then those, and then you cannot smile or laugh because it's gonna crack. Um, those masks um, puts a lot of stress on your face during this period, so you want to avoid that. Um, this is really gentle and it's really soft. You know, it feels really soft. In fact, it almost feels like a really high quality moisturizer, moisturizing cream. So you put it onto your skin, um, leave it on for 15, 15 minutes, and then wash it off. But what's going to happen during the 15 minutes is this product contains very high concentration of green tea, chlorella powder, and spirulina powder, and two other types of seaweed. Um, all these ingredients contain chlorophyll, so on top of the, 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 the saccharides that it contains, so on top of the phytochemicals that all this uh, the seaweed contains, it also contains very high chlorophyll. And if you look closely at the mask, you can see the chlorophyll. It's in little green specks in the masks. And what the chlorophyll does is the chlorophyll acts as the chelating agent. Um, what the chelating agent does is you know, it is a, a compound that would bind itself to things like heavy metals, to environmental toxins, uh, pollution, um, and also even like um, sebum. It will bind itself to these compounds um, and then it would uh, draw it out. So it would draw it out from your skin. Um, and then as you wash it off, you also wash off all these toxins. So it is cleansing, deep cleansing your skin in, in a phytochemistry way, right? So it's not, it's not like a manual, manual microdermabrasion way of cleansing the pores where you use like an exfoliant to scrub everything out, but it uses in like a chemistry way to draw out, attract and draw out, you know, like impurities from your pores, um, so they're easier to wash off. So while you're masking up, you can use the detox mask two to three times a week. Um, this is even gentle to use it every single day, right? So if you have the time, if you want to pamper your skin, take care of your skin, you can use this every single day. And then at night, obviously at this stage, you know, your skin, because you've been wearing a mask the whole day, it is very stressed and you find that there's a lot of um, redness that happens around this area. Um, and for me, the redness becomes very prominent when I wear this. In fact, if I wear this now, like within five minutes, my skin, my face will be red. Um, and then you can see like it, it's, it kind of like swells up because, you know, um, it causes water retention and then you can see like the pores become so obvious. So if you're wearing this kind of mask the whole day, um, what you want to do also at the end of the day is to sort of like de-stress your skin um, and you can de detox with the, so you want to detox and then de-stress your skin. Detox and de-stress. So you can de-stress your skin using the Cardi Dream Sleeping Mask. Uh, this is a mask that you apply onto your skin 
right before you go to bed you want to apply like a good gen generous layer onto your skin um, and then you go to bed with this you don't wash this off what it's going to do is as you are sleeping now this mask contains a lot of amazing ingredients in there that is going to help to calm your skin soothe it reduce the redness but also replenish the moisture to your skin um, and I'm going to give you specifics of the ingredient. The first ingredient um, is here, obviously, is the cherry water, the cherry juice. So um, that's the ingredient that actually gives the scent of the product. You know, this really nice, mildly sweet cherry scent. Uh, and cherries are known to be really calming and soothing, not just to your skin, but also to your mind. Um, and then you have, we have a, a date extract so date the fruit d-a-t-e date um, the date extract is going to repair your skin um, and stimulate you know, like collagen production um, but at the same time reduce you know the the fine lines that you will get and in fact while you're masking you don't get fine lines you get really deep furrows so so you want to you want an ingredient that's going to help to repair and reduce return the skin back to that flexibility um, so that's what the date extract is going to be really helpful in uh, we also have the amino acids, the arginine. Arginine is going to be really helpful um, on, on your skin. Arginine is also helps to return moisture to your skin. Um, and then we have green tea extract and chamomile. So both uh, um, green tea contains theanine, so it's calming. Um, and then chamomile is also a calming agent. But chamomile is also uh, uh, reduces skin redness on the skin. So by using the sleeping mask on your face every night, um, you're just going to give your skin that extra calming massage. It's almost like a massage, right? It's a massage on your face the whole night while you're sleeping. So, so wearing a mask, if you wear a mask, if you have a frontliner, if you wear a mask 12 hours a day, then when you wear a sleeping mask, at least you get 8 hours of treatment while you're sleeping on your skin. So remember, detox and de-stress. So those are the skincare products that you can use um, and you should be actually using while you're, while you're masking up. Uh, but there are also supplements that you should be taking, um, not just for immunity, but also for your, for your skin. Um, especially during this period, while you're wearing a mask, your skin is irritated, you want to you wanna provide your skin with as much nutrients as it can to repair itself, um, to hold the moisture in the skin, and to also reduce um, the oh i forgot about one thing which is really important is during this period when you're wearing a mask you have to use your sunscreen every day you have to put on a sunscreen every morning because if you do not do that you're going to have mask face right we have mask we don't want mask knee we also do not want to have mask face because if you work outdoors and you put on a mask the whole day, then you're going to have this rectangle patch of tan, uh, this tan line on your skin. So you want to avoid the tan line, which means you need to cover your skin with a good sunscreen. Uh, at the same time, you can also go for a, uh, a supplement that increases your skin's resilience to the environment, like the sun. So something like Uh, Invisun. So Invisun is a skin supplement that contains uh, Neutroxun, which is a patented ingredient uh, made from rosemary and grapefruit. Um, these two ingredients contain specific antioxidant that actually helps to boost the resilience of your skin uh, and it actually changes how your skin reacts with UV rays. So it doesn't allow your skin to burn or go red or get um, stressed so easily uh, as compared to not taking this product. Also, it contains a uh, kalahuala. Kalahuala fern is a South African plant that uh, has been used by uh, the native people to as a natural ingestible like sunblock ingredient. Um, and then resveratrol, a very important antioxidant that can also help to protect your skin against the environment. Um, so, especially when you're masking and if you'll be outdoors a lot of time, uh, and right now we're coming to right in the middle of, uh, of summer, 
then you want to be using your sunscreen daily but at the same time do not forget to take your summer skin supplement like Invisun So where was I? I was trying to talk about the mask, the, oh the supplements. So now we talk about immunity, uh, then the other thing that you want to take is also um, Brighten Up. Um, Brighten Up is going to help to, it contains ceramides, right? So those ceramides are going to help to repair um, your skin while it's damaged while wearing a mask. But at the same time, you have the olive leaf extract here and you have the hyaluronic acid um, those ingredients are going to help to replenish the moisture in the skin, but also uh, brighten up your complexion, you know, and, and also in a little way, it also helps to prevent that tan line on your skin. So if you are masking up the whole day, you want to definitely take a skin supplement that helps to repair your skin and return your skin to the right moisture level. Um, if you are in your 20s and 30s, you do not have... Um, if your skin is not aging if yet, uh, if your skin is not ex excessively stressed um, and if you are prone to oily skin or acne, then Brighten Up will be good for you. Uh, but if you have slightly more mature skin or if your skin is uh, very damaged um, or if you just want to have like the complete protection, then you want to take the first night skin supplement. So you want to take this because this is like this is like the big sister of Brighten Up, right? This is um, and people who have taken this product would know that this product works very, very well. Like your skin feels really smooth and supple and moisturized, like a baby's bottom. Um, but two weeks, two weeks into this product, so so this if you want to have that all rounder. Uh, best quality protection for your skin, uh, repairing um, and also with the anti-aging effect and then to bring back the baby soft skin. Uh, this, if you have generally healthy skin but you just want something to further improve your skin and protect your skin during this period. Hi Gwendolyn! Gwendolyn, you've joined us slightly later today. Are you at work? What time is it? So I want to talk about the flash deal for today. Today's flash deal is 15% off store-wide. Um, we're going to give that to you for the next two hours because I feel like this is a period where we need to really stock up on a lot of things that can help to support us during uh, this new normal so it's 15% off store-wide with the code immunity I-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y and if you forget the code you can always come to or if you're not seeing this on YouTube or Facebook uh, you can see the code and the product list over on our website live.sarahmiracle.com L-I-V-E dot sarahmiracle.com and it is 15% off full price products store-wide Side white, um, and that's going to be for the next two hours. We also have a giveaway that's happening, and today's giveaway again it is a big deal because I talked about the giveaway last week and it was a really big gift, right? So I'm going to do it again today. No, granted, I'm in the office, I'm in the studio. Uh, I am going to give away cuddly dreams because I know you guys need it during this period. So one of you is going to bring home a cuddly dream sleeping mask during our giveaway later. But talking about immunity, um, what you want to do during this period is obviously to drink more water, right? Increase your fluid intake. I feel like this is something that people might forget a lot during this period because you're wearing a mask all the time. Then you know, it's just an extra step to drink the water or have to remove the mask. But you know, whatever you do, whichever, whatever you do, remember to keep replenishing those fluids because the, the less dehydrated you are, 
the, the better it is for both your skin and for your immunity. Um, then you want to increase your, you want to boost obviously your immune system. Um, and you can do that with, you know, like your vitamin C and vitamin D. Uh, we don't sell those. You can just pick them up from any pharmacist because, you no, know, there's so many brands out there and they're really cheap um, to get. So, um, and, you know, it's, it's, and, and they're mostly synthetic. Um, so they are, in, in terms of the efficacy and the purity, uh, it's, it's pretty much the same, right? So, so, so we don't really have to worry too much. You know, just pick up any uh, vitamin C and vitamin D3 from your pharmacy that, that should suffice suffice but what we do have is we do have the botanical immune boosters but uh, and also the probiotic immune boosters um, I feel like we are so educated about vitamin C because but you know vitamin C is only really one of one of few pathways that can improve, improve your immunity um, I really want to talk about the gut warrior because during this period um, you want to definitely support your gut because your gut, your digestive system is going to affect not just your immune system, but also your skin. Um, so this is what a lot of people do not realize is that, you know, like they, we think that the digestive system is just a system where digest food and then it provides you with the energy that you need. But it's more than that because of how our body is, is well, designed, most, uh, a lot of the immune cells um, and in a way, a lot of the immunity comes from the gut, this area here, all the way down to your intestine. Um, and also because of the large internal surface area that the gut has, and essentially, you know, if you think about the gut, if you open your mouth, and the other end, you know, it is like a long tube, right? Uh, unlike the skin where you can see what's happening, if you have like a sore or an ulcer in your, on your face or on your hand, you can see it. And then you can fix it immediately, right? You wouldn't leave like an open sore on your hand or your face there. You, you would go and see a doctor, you would fix it. But when you have like an ulcer or a sore or when you have diver diverticulitis in your intestine, you don't see it and you probably wouldn't even notice it and until it becomes almost too late because it has developed into a disease. Um, then and so much discomfort that you then have to go to a doctor and you, and you get like an like a gastroscope um, and that's where we discover that oh uh, you have ulcers oh you have diverticulitis oh you have Crohn's disease right so we don't want all those things to happen but the problem is because it is all internal you don't see it um, and that's why people think oh there's nothing wrong but you have to think about the fact that your digestive tract the entire tube um, it's almost like your skin like even in like a really healthy, normal person, you would still get that occasional acne on your skin. Uh, you would still get that occasional rash or you know what not. Um, the, the, the same thing goes with your digestive system. But it's even worse because you know, your digestive system is a very moist part um, area, right? And because it is moist, then the cell walls, the cells, they are in a way quite you know, like sensitive. Uh, but at the same time, it is exposed to so much, uh, diff so, diff so much different things that you consume daily, right? So you'd be consuming rubbish, you'd be consuming good things, healthy food. But you know, there's also there's a really big spider on the wall behind me. I'm not scared of spiders, so that's fine. And we are we are pro animals here, so I'm not going to do anything about it if there is. But I don't. Is there a spider? No. No, no spiders, but your gut is exposed to so many different types of things, you know, new things and old things that um, you don't see daily. So, I mean, you don't consume, you consume daily. So what you want to do is to protect it. And, and the best way to protect it is your probiotics because your probiotics, they're like little armies. The bacteria in your gut, they're like little armies that you know, prevent things that shouldn't go into your bloodstream, go into your bloodstream. Um, but because of our diet, it, it definitely affects them. Uh, what you want to do is to use probiotics to return your skin, uh, return your skin to... Oh my God, Steve Burger. This guy has been here before. Uh, you want to return your gut to the healthy state with the probiotics. So 
Gut warrior is Saccharomyces boulardii and Brexus coagulans, two strains of probiotic that is shelf stable, which means you do not need to store this in the fridge. Um, and you can carry this with you anywhere. So it's handy to put into your handbag, in your pouch, wherever you go. Um, and then the beta glucans in here from mushrooms is going to support your immune system. It is going to uh, help you, well, at least help your immune system be stronger during this period. So we have been receiving a lot of feedback on people who have taken Gut Warrior. Um, because it is a preventive, preventive kind of product, right? You do not actually, uh, you, you cannot assess like how it has boosted your immune system in a way. Um, but so far, all the feedback that we have been getting from people is they, they love the product because it has helped their bowel movements become more normal, or at least healthier or regular. Or regular. Um, and to a lot of people, like having getting back to a regular bowel movement, you know, my me like a small improvement or not it's not a big deal but to me it is a huge deal because i know how the digestive system works i know how much your bowel habits reflect the state of your health if you can get back to a regular healthy bowel habit um, actually it would have improved a lot of parameters in your body and things you cannot see just the fact that if you just have like a mild inflammation in the intestine, that is not going to cause you any discomfort. Uh, it will disrupt your bowel movement and your, your bowel frequency and also how well formed your stools are. Uh, but if you get the healthy stool and you're regular, then uh, it means that you know, like your intestine is really, really healthy. So... You want to take this one to two capsules a day, they're fine, uh, just to maintain like a good gut health immune system, one capsule a day. The other thing that's going to help with your immunity at this point is cell soldier. So cell soldier um, is actually quite a multifaceted kind of supplement, right, because you know, it helps to support the, the, your cells, you know, your, your cells require not just nutrition, um, but there are also phytochemicals that can help to boost your, your cells' natural health. Um, and you know, cells will just support your liver right, because it contains turmeric uh, and it also contains um, broccoli sprout powder, which is, quite, which is high in, in um, sulfurous compound that your liver needs to produce glutathione, which is a natural antioxidant. Uh, but at the same time, cell soldier also contains uh, the turmeric and graviola, which are both anti-inflammatory. So this is actually really good. Um, again, if you are frontlining at this period of time, you're always on your feet. Um, you know, you get sore arms, sore legs, um, and even like a sore face where you're wearing a mask. Uh, cell soldier is going to help with that. So this would be a multifaceted kind of like immune boosting supplement that also helps to support your liver health and at the same time your cells. I'm going a bit fast here because I realize the time is ticking. I'm so comfortable in this environment that I am talking a lot. But now we're going to do a giveaway. We're doing a giveaway for Kazli. Hi, Ash. Yeah, you go to the toilet. I do that. So I want to say congratulations, but you know, like, I shouldn't really congratulate you because that is what we should be doing every day, right? Go to the toilet daily. If you're not going to the toilet daily, then there's something not quite right. You want to fix that. So we're giving out one Cuddly Dreams sleeping mask to one of you in this giveaway. All you have to do is to type yes in the live chat. You can type yes on... <laughs> Gwendolyn is very fast. Just type yes before I even say to type yes. Uh, to type yes in Facebook, YouTube or on our website, live chat, just type yes and I'm going to put your nick or your name into the lucky wheel and then we're going to spin the wheel and see who receives a cuddly dream sleeping mask at your doorstep, free of charge. Absolutely free of charge. Wherever you are in the world, we're going to ship this to you. So, so we have Oh, hi, Janice. Lucky Will, Lucky... It's Lucky Will time. We are giving out one Cuddly Dream Sleeping Mask to whoever types yes in the live stream. And then we're going to put your name onto the Lucky Will. 
We're going to spin the wheel, and one person will win the Cuddly Dream Sleeping Mask. If you have used this mask before, you know how amazing this mask is. Tina Ash. Anna. Right, we have two more minutes for you to say yes so that I can put your name onto the lucky wheel and then we're going to draw one person to win the Cardi Dream Sleeping Mask. So, I'm going to stand up now because I'm ready for this. I like being here, I can, so you can see. Yeah, you don't have to be like, you don't have to have engaged with me before and there's no questions. You don't have to answer any answers. All you have to do is to type yes or whatever right now in the live chat, be it on Facebook or YouTube or on the website and then you're gonna, your name is going to go on the lucky wheel. We have about a minute more for you to do that and then I'm going to spin the wheel and one person is going to win the Cuddly Dream Sleeping Mask. Justin's just joined. One minute, one minute, one minute. So you guys know that this live stream is now once a week, right? So uh, for those of you who have been watching and following and supporting twice a week, thank you so much. And I am also pretty sure that you have received lots of presents because of this. So I'm happy for you too. Uh, but now the live stream will be once a week. So I'll be seeing you once a week, same time every week. Um, and because it's once a week, so if you do have questions during the week, um, that you want to get some answers to, you can send your questions to us. You can send your questions by via DM on, on Instagram. You can message our uh, Facebook, you know, send us a DM on Facebook as well. Um, and if we can answer your questions immediately, I'll do that. Uh, but if we cannot, then what I'll do is I will compile all those questions and then answer your questions at the live stream on every Thursday. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's it. We're going to spin the wheel. Music. Spinning now. Congratulations, Gwen. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. You have won yourself a Cuddly Dream sleeping mask. Oh, sorry, Trisha Lee, you came in too late. But I am happy for Gwen. I think Gwen was looking forward to win something for a long time. Finally, Gwen, this is yours. Oh, I love the giveaway. So, so Gwen sent us a DM um, to redeem your prize. Give us your address and your name. We'll send it to you and you should be received it within a week or so. So, so that's it for today's live stream. Uh, again, just a reminder, if you have any questions throughout the week uh, and if you just want an answer immediately, you can send us a DM on Instagram or Facebook. Um, but of course, if you can wait, if you want me to answer your questions directly, then See you next week at the same time on the live stream. Um, oh my god, Sue, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you missed it. But don't worry, you can come back again next Thursday. Just make sure that you know when you come back next uh, at the next live stream to be around, be around for the giveaway because the giveaways usually happens. Um, it's not as, it's, it doesn't start at the same time every week, but it always ends at the same time, right? So you just want to make sure that you don't miss it. Yep, but it might be this again next week, so you want to stay tuned 
for that. Or I might, I might change to another product. Depends on how I feel. But I feel like this is, uh, yeah, I just love using this. So I feel like since I love using this, I want you guys to know how I feel. Um, so yeah, ask me questions during the live stream at any time. Um, and if you wanna, if you want an immediate answer to your questions during the week, just send us a DM. Um, and thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next week. And stay safe and enjoy the products. Bye bye.